Does sheep actually make you more money than you put into them? Let's find out. All right, today we're doing sheep. We're gonna see if they actually make enough money to maintain or make a profit off of sheep. As you see here, I have five pens set up all the way down. So in each pen, I have each different type of sheep. We're gonna see which one actually makes us more wool per day. And we'll skip, we'll skip some months. We'll go along and see which one is actually making you more money in wool production. Sheep can be used in the production companies, put them into the spinnery, all the wool, and that'll go into the tailor shop and you can sell for a pretty penny. Right now, this is at $21,000 per, I'm guessing a thousand liters. Now it might not, it might, might take a while to get there, but they are profitable and you can sell the wool if you did want. So there's also that option. Now in this pen, the first pen has all babies. This is our pen right here. They're all at zero months. I wanted to see if they actually produced wool, even if they were at zero months. So we'll take a look, see what happens. I do have to fill up all these with grass. That's the best thing about sheep. They're very easy to maintain. All they need is grass. And if you have the uh, barn style animal pens, they don't even need water. Water is plumbed in. They will always have water. So really, sheep are the easiest thing to use. Uh, if you're new to animals, if you just wanna get involved in something, all you need is grass. That's it. Sheep are easy, sheep are simple. All right, all the pens have been fed. So now we have full grass and everything. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and wait one day and see what happens. Now I do have it on one day season, so it'll be one day will be one month. So. After a month, we'll see how they're all doing, see how much food they have left, and see how much wool they produced. All right, starting with our babies. Let's take a look. So, let's go down to our animal menu here. Our babies are at the bottom. They're one month old, healthy now. Their production is at 106 liters of wool. Yeah, six liters. Okay. All right, now let's look at their adult form. So this is at, well, they should be at seven months now. No, I'm sorry. These ones are at eight months. Their reproduction rate is 20% already. You can also go towards the animal and you can see their menu, their uh, field info kind of pops up. So this one is at, let's see, animal. This one is at 20% production. There's 10 in here and this one is nine years old, nine months old. So you can see it from there. A little bit easier on this menu because they don't walk around you can see it easier so the little guys haven't really used much food at all now these guys the older versions of them they've used a little bit more food but they are reproducing so they're probably going to use more food to reproduce they're going to need that and they're making a little more wool these guys are at 63 I'm sorry, just kicked over. 64 liters of wool. So, they're not bad. They're doing good. Obviously, the little guys are not making much wool. So, if you, when you're starting out, if you're going to buy babies at zero months, expect not to make wool off the beginning. At least, not a lot. These guys, nine months, 20% reproduction. So, it looks like those guys are the exact same reproduction rate and exact same food. They've eaten exactly the same food. And let's see, yep, 64 liters, exactly the same. So your black and white are identical. Now, moving over, we got our black brown mountain. These guys, 20% reproduction rate, okay. They've all eaten the same amount. Besides our little guys, they've eaten the same amount here. So they're all producing the same. We come over to our wood pallet, 64 liters. They're all produced the same. Let's go over to our, our Black Welsh Mountain here. They've eaten the same. They're 31 months now. Reproduction is exactly the same. Let's take a look over here. Is this at 64? 104. So these ones have made more. Hmm. Now, does that come with age? is as they get older, do they make more? Because that's the only difference between these guys and these ones. Obviously, they're a little different. These ones are the, the Black Welsh Mountains and these are the Swiss Black Brown Mountain. But 
Is it the age? Is age really doing that much? Now, I'll have to go back and look at what their price was. You know, we'll, we'll look from here. So these guys are all at 325 and these ones are at 875 to sell. Let's take a look tomorrow and see what they're at. All right, a new day. Sheep are looking good here. Let's see, this is our baby sheep. They're at 28 liters now. So sheep don't produce until eight months. So they have to become eight months old before they will start reproducing. That's why they sell these at eight months. It takes five, or actually, yeah, it takes five months for them to reproduce, but they have to be eight months old to start reproducing. Our two months old, not much. They're making, yeah, it says 27 liters. It's actually 28, but that's all right. So our babies, eh, they're making product, but it's going to be a while. Now, the adult version of them, the 10-month-old, they, ma they made 191 liters. Perfect. They obviously ate more than the babies did. So they're doing good. Now, going up, the black and, black and white ones, same thing, 191 liters. So it looks like all the sheep are identical. Age is one thing I don't know. All right, so it looks like if you're doing sheep and you can afford buying adult Black Welsh Mountain, they are gonna make you more wool. They are also not gonna eat more than any other sheep, but they're gonna cost more. Because if you look, the adult sheep that are eight months are $480 per sheep. The Black Welsh Mountain are 30 months old and they're $1,283 per sheep. So in total, every, all the 10 sheep that I bought for each pen was 5,388. 5, That's for 10 sheep. Now, the Black Welsh cost me 13,333. So it's gonna cost a pretty penny. If you're planning on doing that, go for it. They're gonna make you more because they're older. They're gonna make you more off the start. And if you just wanna get started, get things going, you don't, you have some extra money, go for it. They're gonna make you more the earliest. This one's up to three, 304, the other ones are not even hitting 200 yet. So yes. The Black Welsh Mountains are going to make you the most money off of start. Now, I'm going to test if it's because of age. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sell the rest of them. Because I know that they're all even. They're all the same. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to sell these sheep. And I'm going to sell all these sheep. And instead, I'm going to put zero month old against zero month old. And we're going to see if it's because of age, if it is, you know, something that with age, they will produce more. So right now in this guy, I got 10. And in this guy, I got 10. All the rest of them, I'm going to sell because they are pretty much even all the way down the road. Now I'll keep the black one so we can see the reproduction because that's not gonna happen for these little guys for a while. I'm gonna sell all these guys and I'll keep the babies for now. All right, actually, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll compare three. So what I need to do is get all these guys out of the way. Can we not pick up wool pallets? No, okay. So I'm gonna get a tractor and pull all those out of there. And we're gonna make sure that uh, it's not just, age is not affecting how well these guys are doing. All right, all the pallets have been moved. Get a nice little tractor over there to move all these. So there's, there is no pallets here. Now, now our menu up here is gonna say that we have 191 liters, so we can't go off that. So our older guys are going to reproduce. These guys will not, not yet until eight months. So it might be a little off on the menu, 
but I will show you each pallet and see how much they want. Now, these guys are at 27 liters in month two, okay? I did not move them. They're way over there. They got 27 liters. This is just a pallet I didn't pick up yet. But if we get to these guys and the other ones, if we get to the black and brown and the black Welsh sheep and they're at 27 liters by month two, we'll know all sheep are equal, no matter what. It's just their age that matters. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip a day and we'll look at it. All right, this is now day one of these guys. So they are one month old. Let's see if they made anything in wool. So one month and they're at six liters. Okay, I believe that's what the first month was at. Let's see these guys, what are they at? Six liters. So, as of right now, they are all equal. And if we go down here to the fully grown ones, just to see, they're at 504 liters. So, age could have a factor. So, I'm going to skip another month and we'll see if that one grows up to 27 and uh, get an idea of how sheep work. All right, month two of these guys. Let's take a look. They're out now at 28. So. Oh, that looked like a red sheep, but it's just the uh, red lights. I was like, when did I get a red sheep? <laughs> Interesting. These guys, yeah. So, as of right now, it looks like every sheep is the same. The only difference is you can buy these at 30 months. So, age does matter. The older they are, the more wool they produce. Now, these guys, have they gone up in price being a little older? They have. They were at a little under 800, now they're at 950. So, age does matter, and selling, they will go up in price. These ones are now $200, they're four months old. These ones that are two months old are only 150. And originally, they were all the same price. Age definitely matters. Now, these ones are at 80% reproduction. So, that means they should have new offspring tomorrow. So, let's go ahead and jump over to tomorrow and see what they got. All right, month three. Let's take a look at what we got for wool. 63 liters for the black ones, the black and brown. We have 63 liters, so they're making the same amount every month. Now these guys, they are very tired. All right, um, they are at 904 liters. Now, we started with 10, we have 10 new ones. So it goes an even amount. So all your sheep will have babies. So one for one. If you have 30 sheep, you'll have 30 babies. So every five months, you'll get whatever number you have will be reproduced. That's good to know. We can only hold 65 in this big pen. So if you wanted to buy five, and in five months, then you'll have 10. Five months later, then yeah, you have 15 and so on. And then the babies eventually will have their own babies. So it's gonna get out of hand really quick. Now, once you get so far, you're eventually gonna have to sell them. So what you wanna do is make sure you sell the oldest sheep first. They're gonna be worth more money. Then they're, they're also gonna be the ones that honestly make you the most wool. So there's a trade off there. Do you want to sell your most, your oldest sheep for the most money, or would you rather have the wool production from them sheep? It's a trade-off. Now, all the new sheep you get, they're only worth $88 day one. But, that's $88 you did not spend. So, once you get full, 
you could just sell your newborns because you know every five months you're going to get more newborn newborns. Once you have enough, because these take eight months to go, there's going to be a cycle of every couple days you're going to get newborns. Maybe two to three days you're going to get newborns. So eventually you're just going to have to sell the newborns over and over and over again if you want to keep your full grown sheep. Because these guys, I mean, they're killing it. In the Black Welsh Mountain, we have our 35 months. They're going to continue to make wool the best that they can. And they're going to keep going up in price. In my eyes, I'm not selling them. Those guys are my workhorses. They're doing 90% of the lifting. These Black Welsh Mountain babies would be the first to go if I was selling right now. If you want to really get started, buy the black, buy these guys at, thir at 20, at 30 months. Buy these guys at 30 months. If you just want to jump in and go crazy with wool, buy these guys at 30 months. Let them reproduce. Let them do their own thing. You don't need more. Just buy 10. They're going to make you wool pretty damn quick. If you're trying to do it, start a farm and have sheep. Yeah, you're going to, you're going to want to do the babies. Let them grow up, let them have their own own babies, and, you know, make money doing it. That is all for sheep. They are identical. So, sheep are identical. Every single one is the same price. It gives you the same amount of wool. But the age does matter. That's a big thing in 22. Age is a new number. And that decides how much wool that sheep is going to make and how much the sheep is worth if you sell it. No sheep are better than the other. White ones are the same as black ones, which is the same as the black and brown ones, which is the same as the black and or white ones. They're all the same. It just determines on age. So keep your old, sell your young. And you should be fine. You should be making the most amount of wool you can and maintaining selling some of them sheep. But that's going to do it for this one. I hope I could help. Hope I can give you some information. If you did like it, leave a like. If you do want to check out more, I'm going to be doing these on all animals. So make sure you subscribe to check out more. All right. Have a good one.